Hello everybody. Daniel Garcia, Daniel Elohim, Elohim's one. Hope all is well. Thanks for tuning in. I want to talk about this meteor that supposedly went over Puerto Rico. I know there's a lot of buzz about it, but the Bible warns us not to be deceived. And looking at the videos that I was able to pull up, there's two main videos that will keep coming up over and over. Uh, it's the one where it's the ring doorbell. The woman walks out on her patio and she um, kind of looks like she's checking the meteor out. She comes to check the meteor out or something, but and it's just kind of weird. And if you notice in the videos, the angles are all the same. Um, and then uh, I'm using some notes here today, so that's why I keep looking down. Um, first, the Weather Channel reported it two days ago. Um, as of Saturday, it would have been Thursday they reported it. Um, but the rest of uh, Puerto Rico reported it Friday. Um, like I said, the one video is from the ring doorbell. Um, she goes outside to do whatever at the at just right at the right moment where the meteor comes across the sky. Um, the other one, the video. Let's see. Um, I, and I apologize for all the ums. <laughs> The, you see uh, the, the camera set up like over a, a, a grassy area and then there's some mountains or something in the background. Some uh, You can see the distance. Uh, there's no ocean where it was reported to have gone down. Um, Weather.com, weatherchannel.com said that it crashed in the ocean, landed in the ocean, whatever. But uh, if you look at that video, it looks like it's going to hit the ground where, you know, in the background there, the mountains and the hills, and it's at the same exact angle. So the two main videos that were being shown are of the meteor at the same exact angle and then over land. But, and I know Puerto Rico's an island, and so maybe, maybe it could be out there, but it just doesn't look like it. You know, use a discerning eye um, and really analyze where this meteor is in the sky. And then the third video, which I saw on Mr. MBB333, that video that someone sent him was from a dash cam. And that looks nothing like the other two videos. It's a lot closer to the ground. It's cloudy the object is moving through the clouds and it looks more like a spaceship. And it looks like a UFO, a cylindric UFO. And in that video, right away I knew it, it looked fake to me. There's a, a glitch, which I know can happen on camera, especially a dash cam. But the way it moves through the clouds, um, the clouds are not disturbed by its movement through the clouds. Um, the uh, tail behind it looks odd. So I'm going to put a link to his channel and to these other videos if you haven't already seen them. They're easy to find. Um, well, that's all you're going to find. There's not a lot out there. And then the weather, weatherchannel.com, which was taken over by... Uh, I forget who bought it out, but it's just one of these... You know, it's owned by the government, basically, like a lot of other stuff. Google, and they're, you know, in the back pocket... And uh, they said it went down over the, the ocean or the sea or whatever it is over there. And uh, so they have this radar image and they show a, a flash and then they show one that a meteor that landed in the same vicinity, um, I think, two years ago. And how they, and they compare the sizes of these flashes on this computer screen, which doesn't mean anything. You know, if I had a computer, I could probably do the same thing. But else I got is a phone. I got two phones now. Ooh, that one's getting shut off. But anyway, um, back to the notes. Because this is all just new. I, I, 
the research that I've done is, is really, there's not much out there. And then if you go to Instagram and look at it, a lot of people are saying, oh yeah, I saw it. And you know, but who doesn't want to, you know, everyone wants to put their two cents in on, on the latest issue. And that doesn't mean it. they're telling the truth. You know, unfortunately, most people tell the truth less often than they lie. Um, 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 um. Yeah, um, that's all for my notes, so <laughs> great video. Uh, the last video of Mr. MBB333, that video, uh, go check it out. Uh, it definitely looks CGI. Um, there was some, oh yeah, let's see if I have those pulled up still. Uh, some conversations or interviews with people, supposed eyewitnesses that uh, saw it. And um, let's see, which one? We'll go to the Washington Post. No, let's go to, yeah, the Washington Post, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure I get the right article because I'm going to quote from it. Um, the Washington Post, dated January 17th, 2020, 6.15 p.m. Excuse me while I smoke, I'm sorry. Helps me relax a little bit, I guess. Um, I will quote, a meteor streaked low across the sky in Puerto Rico on Friday, setting local media abuzz as the spectacle amazed some people and unsettled others on an island still being hit daily by small earthquakes, which we should pray for those guys because they're, they're getting tore up. Rafael Rivera, a pharmacist, said he saw and heard the fireball as he passed over a toll bridge in northern Puerto Rico, briefly worrying it was a malfunctioning plane. More planes? Come on. All these planes that are in the news right now? What are they getting us ready for? And the white vans? That's another video. It was a loud noise, he said. I see this fire, this ball of fire, very fast, very big. And I said, wow, that can't be a plane because it's going too fast. The uh, writer of the article goes on to say the meteor was visible across Puerto Rico in broad daylight. Um, no, I'm sorry, this is Eddie Irizarry, a Puerto Rico astronomy professor and vice president of the Caribbean Astronomy Association in the back pocket of the government. No, I'm just kidding. He said he got reports from all corners of the island. Um, that makes it into quite a rare event, he said in the phone interview. He also said the meteor was visible for up to 10 seconds and that he suspects it was at least a couple of feet in length, given reports that it left a smoke trail. And if you look at these videos, it's more than a couple of feet in length. But again, this guy isn't an eyewitness. He's just a show, in my opinion. Some people on social media reported seeing a meteor hit just off the coast. This is where the Weather Channel play comes in. No, I'm saying it hit off the coast, but if you look at these videos, they're nowhere near the coast. Um, those reports could not be immediately verified, of course. Meanwhile, meanwhile, officials at Puerto Rico's main international airport said they captured the event on camera, but their flight operations were not interrupted. <clears throat> Being that short, yeah, it wouldn't be interrupted, but, uh, you know, we can't... Uh, say that it, it, it happened and have flight interruptions because it didn't happen, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, the event scared many in the U.S. territory. And then it goes on about the earthquakes. Um, Paulo Noriega, Paulo Nor Paul Noriega, a chef, said she saw, oh, Paula Noriega, said she saw the fireball while standing outside in San Juan. She goes on about the earthquakes and her father, an appraiser, Juan Noriega, watched the spectacle with her because they, you know, she's at work and there's her dad with her standing out back. All of a sudden I see a giant ball go across the sky, he said. It was orange in color. 
and coming in like a jet throwing off fumes. And if you see these videos, it looks nothing like that. And that's the end of that uh, Washington Post fallacy. Um, let's see, I'm gonna get some more, this other interview here. This one is from Towler, T-O-W-T-O-W-L-E-R-O-A-D, -E Towler Road, I guess. Uh, meteor strikes through sky above Puerto Rico in rare event. Um, the Associated Press reports that the low-flying fireball, they say low-flying, it came at a 45-degree angle from the sky. Um... Unsettled residents who are still feeling the earthquake, blah, 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 damage from the earthquake. The meteor was visible across Puerto Rico in broad daylight, said Idiazari, Irizari. Same, same sentence. It was visible aqua, across, um, oh, so this is the same guy, this, the astronomer guy, the vice president of the Caribbean Astronomy Association. Uh, let's see. I think that's it for the quotes from, from this one. And then they have two videos, the ones that I mentioned. And it's slightly steeper than 45 degree angle. Actually, this is the same video, just from two different angles. Um, and then the uh, weather.com. <laughs> that one's just silly. Some kind of radar and then it flashes lights up the cloud it's dark lights up the clouds well you'll see it i'll put the link to this one too guys just don't be deceived is the point we are given discernment if you ask for it if you don't have it ask for it you'll get it you might get it i'm not god i can't say what he's going to do um so use your discernment be wise look at these videos Look at the comments that people are making. Look at the situations they're putting these supposed eyewitnesses in and pray about it, I guess. You know, I, I just, I don't know what they're getting us ready for. Um, not too long ago, NASA comes out with, they found a planet. They found this, these planets that, and one of them's in an inhabitable zone, and I forget how many million uh, light years away it is, and um, they just now discovered it, you know. These telescopes have been up there for so long that suppose that, you know, in space, Kepler and looking at the stars and all these other solar systems, and they're just now finding this one that's not that far away. I think it's like four light years away, um, if you believe in space, if you want to... Um, follow that lie too uh this inhabitable planet out there um and they have pictures of it like and it looks like a planet like what they tell us a planet looks like um yet where is all the pictures of planet earth we've been to space so much and we've um got pictures of mars and you know and there's no pictures of planet earth they're all artist renditions and there's a rob skiba he does um if you've never heard of him check him out he's pretty good he's a christian researcher and he uh, debunks all these claims by nasa um has he pulls up an interview of the gentleman who is the uh artist who does these renditions of earth and if you look closely at the bottom of a lot of these pictures they tell you right there at the bottom artist rendition these aren't pictures of earth they're not pictures of planet xyz they are lies simple truth that's what they are they're lying to us about space they're lying to us about what's coming from space and pretty soon they're going to lie about our, who we are, what we are, and where we're from. They're going to try and make us think that aliens are our progenitors, that they came millions and millions of years ago and messed with the DNA of monkeys 
or whatever and created monkey fish frogs. You and me, that's what we are, monkey fish frogs. Um, the big sib, he's pretty good. Uh, if you like uh, Bible teaching. Um, so be prepared, okay? And there's also another video out there from Japan where they did a, a holographic dragon. And this dragon is flying around the stadium and it looks real. I have a pretty good eye for looking at uh, video and picking out what's CG and what's real and where they're crossing the lines between and meshing them and in, in, intertwining them together to deceive us. And that video looked real. Um, it, it, it was uh, Hollywood quality. And apparently these people that were in the stadium, baseball stadium watching this game were seeing this dragon flying around. You can see its shadow as it moves around the stadium, grabs onto the uh, video screen, lands on the roof, flies off, tiles come, lands in the baseball field, and guess what pops up around it? Stonehenge. And this dragon lands on it, and uh, I forget how it, they end it, but if they have that technology to have a holographic dragon fly around a stadium um, and look very real, what else could they make come out of the sky and to deceive us? We don't, we're so isolated as a world from each other. We don't know what's really happening in other countries. We just know what they tell us and we don't know if it's the truth. And uh, so put on your full armor of God. Remember it's his armor, it's his fight, it's his battle. He gives us the means to withstand against the enemy. For us to wage war and think we can take on the enemy in the spiritual realm that is attacking us in our realm by ourselves, we're foolish. We need God, we need Yeshua, we need our Father, we need the Holy Spirit. And that's the only way we're gonna make it through this Pray for discernment. Pray for your... Look up the definition of discernment. Um, and uh, pray for your eyes to be open to the truth. Pray for understanding. And uh, pray for each other. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.